talk in market news for the so the first thing I want to talk about are the record highs yesterday when the stocks closed was there any news that affected that there was that's exactly right yesterday we broke 25,000 for the first time in history on the Dow Jones Industrial oh. Average closed up 152 points at 25,075 and good economic news yesterday kind of as a precursor to what we'll have coming out here this morning that drove the market higher yesterday. NASDAQ and S&P also hit all-time highs. And what is it that investors can expect today? Well, today the futures are up again as we have the jobs report that comes out here at any minute at 6.30 this morning. We'll get that number. They're expecting the unemployment rate to remain at a 17-year low at about 4.1% mm -hmm. and that more new jobs were created again this last month. All right. And the last time you were in, we were talking about potential changes to the tax cut and the Jobs Act. And since then, the bill has passed. So is there anything um, that you're aware of that could impact our viewers at home this morning? That's right, and it was. You're exactly right. It was passed back on December 22nd, which was just right after we had met the last time. Mm -hmm. And there are a, a handful of things that some of our viewers may appreciate knowing, one of which is 529 plans, which in the past were only to be used for college expenses. Mm -hmm. And you could put money into that. We've talked about it on the show, and it grows tax-free, comes out tax-free for college expenses. Now that can also be used for elementary mm -hmm. and secondary uh, education expenses up to $10,000 per student per year. So that's a significant change. Um, one of the things that will that'll change on people's returns is itemized miscellaneous deductions. Those right. are things like your tax preparation fees, investment fees, mm -hmm. home business expense, unreimbursed employee expenses. Those type of things will go away in 2018. A few other things, alternative minimum tax, which has affected a lot of taxpayers. That will affect less taxpayers most likely in 2018 as those exemptions have changed. And then the last thing would be unreimbursed medical expenses. Mm -hmm. That threshold had been 10 percent. That drops to 7.5 percent. And that actually is retroactive to 2017. So all those are things that I would suggest our viewers talk with their tax pre preparer about here mm -hmm. for not just 2018, but also, for example, with the with the uh, medical expenses for 2017. Yeah, it's not the same old, same old anymore. There's quite a few changes. A lot of changes. Yeah. I know I just rattled a few, uh, just a handful of a number of things that are <laughs> yeah, out there, but try to get through a number of them. Yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We do appreciate it. We'll thank be you. back after this break.